Vamos a Penal Internacional. Eh, nos va a explicar en, en unos minutos eh, en qué consiste el proyecto que el presidente ha comentado. El proyecto se llama Women Victims of Dice Crimes Giving Them Historical Record and Justice. Y eh, Laura nos explicará, eh, es un proyecto internacional, eh, el cual, pues... Eh, lo que busca es esto, el tema de, de las víctimas eh, de, que hayan pasado eh, por el tema, de, de, el tema del terrorismo y qué, qué acciones se, se van a realizar. Sin más, le dejo la palabra. Thank you very much. Uh, buenos días. I'm so sorry I cannot speak Spanish and Catalan very well. So um, forgive me. I will uh, um, speak in English. And, um, Um, I'm very glad and uh, um, I'm very uh, honored to be here during this important conference uh, to speak, to talk about this project. Uh, the project, uh, as uh, Professor Chilea uh, said before, uh, has been approved by the Executive Committee of the uh, ICBA and is focused on uh, uh, crimes investigating and uh, reporting um, uh, crimes committed by Daesh Uh, in Iraq against women and girls. Uh, we all know that Daesh uh, uh, for here has perpetrated uh, um, terrible crimes, um, xenocidal acts against uh, um, Yazidi, Christian, no Sunni uh, Muslim minorities, and um, it, uh, the central of this uh, violence was uh, uh, sexual and gender-based violence against women and girls. Um, Daesh used uh, uh, rape, uh, sexual uh, um, slavery, uh, forced marriage, uh, torture, in order to have a recruitment to uh, distract uh, a community. So how can uh, what ICB could do? Uh, in order to face this kind of uh, um, crimes, uh, the only thing uh, is uh, giving justice to victims. We talked this morning about the importance of international justice, uh, and uh, we, must be, um, uh, we must make uh, effective this international justice. Uh, we know that uh, Iraq is not a party to Rome Statute, and uh, it, not, it has not accepted uh, ICC jurisdiction. That means that the Article 12 uh, of the European, uh, of the Rome Statute uh, cannot work. And uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, of course, a big problem that we have to face. But uh, we have to face other, uh, another important problem that uh, uh, regards the difficulties to uh, investigate and to um, collect uh, uh, evidence of crimes. That depends also because uh, um, it's quite difficult to be in touch with uh, victims. Uh, women, girls uh, are... Uh, um, Uh, are worried to, to talk about uh, the violence that they, um, they suffered. So um, what uh, ICBA want to, uh, to, to do is uh, to work uh, on two aspects that are very important. The first one is uh, uh, crime investigating and reporting and uh, um, by, of course, it's an activity that must be uh, taken by uh, expert, and uh, we are uh, um, finalizing a team expert of uh, uh, 10 people, uh, Iraqi national expert and uh, European expert. Um, we will work with Iraqi population, and that's uh, one of the best things because we have to create confidence uh, with uh, population. Um, the other aspect uh, uh, is uh, um, how we can, uh, uh, we can take legal action uh, before a, a judiciary system that must be credible, uh, especially as far concern uh, the protection of uh, uh, dignity of victims. Uh, I want to recall that uh, uh, the Security Council adopted a resolution 2379 that established a team of experts um, for investigating crimes and reporting uh, evidence of crimes uh, committed by Daesh. But the problem is that this, all these crimes uh, will be prosecuted by uh, judicial, national judiciary system. It means by Iraqi judiciary system. And uh, uh, what's uh, um, the, um, 
the question. The question is that uh, a judiciary, Iraqi judiciary system uh, is not adequate because it's based on patriarchal concept of gender and gender inequalities. I will give you just an example. Uh, for example, Article 393 of the uh, Iraqi Criminal Code provides, uh, um, that is uh, on rape, provides uh, uh, only uh, the crimes of uh, um, act of uh, um, vaginal intercourse, but not other kind of uh, sexual abuses perpetrated also by objects or uh, on other part of the, core, of, uh, the bodies. So um, it's a very limited uh, um, judicial system and it's not adequate in confrontation to uh, international standards as provided by, for example, Article 7 of uh, Elements of Crime of the um, ICC or by uh, also judiciary, uh, very important judiciary sentences. I would like to record Akayezu case, for example. So uh, we have to work also to help uh, Iraqi people to reform uh, their Iraqi uh, code, penal code. Uh, it means that the uh, team of experts will work uh, on two aspects. The first one, as I said before, is uh, on crimes investigating and the reporting. The second aspect is uh, on um, uh, providing uh, hypothesis of reform of a criminal uh, code in order to submit this possible um, reform to national authorities. Of course, we will work uh, together with uh, Iraqi experts, and um, we will start to work uh, um, by, um, by September, this September. The project will last uh, one uh, year. So I do hope we will have uh, the possibility to talk about the outcomes of the project next year. I want to underline that all the experts will work pro bono. And uh, it's, uh, I think that is something very important. And um, they want to do uh, it just for justice, not for any, any kind of incomes, but just for justice. And uh, they are lawyers, uh, they are judges, they are a, a professor and also they are psychologists and doctors. Um, then I promise to have just five minutes, not more. Uh, so I do hope I, uh, I was in time. And I do hope to meet you next uh, year. I, as Professor Chilea said uh, before, uh, this is a format of a project that we want to apply also uh, for other uh, countries. Uh, countries who also are party to the Rome Statute, where uh, it's possible also to work uh, um, with uh, um, uh, much uh, easier and to submit also reports and outcomes to ICC. And because uh, uh, as uh, we, s we have said uh, this morning, the importance is not having just uh, uh, code uh, or uh, Rome Statute uh, or other uh, uh, wonderful documents. The importance is to make effective uh, justice. And uh, uh, I think that lawyers in this case have a very great, great, great responsibility and very great, great role. This project uh, has borne as uh, mm, a project of lawyers and they will be conducted by lawyers, with judges, with professors, but by lawyers. So thank you very much for this opportunity and uh, uh, congratulations for this meeting. Muchas gracias, Laura. Básicamente, como ha dicho, resumiendo, es un programa que incluso por el CAPI es, es importante, de, sobre, todo, sobre todo por el tema de la cooperación que ha hablado anteriormente la fiscal general de extranjería y entre, a nivel internacional entre, entre, fiscales, entre abogados de distintos países y sobre todo enfocado al tema de las víctimas, como bien ha dicho, desde psicólogos y desde el tema fundamental para el tema de la, penal, eh, el tema de la justicia penal internacional, como es el tema de obtener evidencia a la hora de, de poder criminalizarlo. Sin más, porque vamos un poco mal de tiempo, pasamos a la segunda mesa. Por favor, eh, llamamos a, a Leticia Matarranz, eh, a Antoni Rodríguez y a Javier García Mayol, que, que nos explicarán el tema de los delitos transnacionales en el ámbito de extranjería y bandas organizadas.